Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this little white thing that comes with, I'm pretty sure, all GoPro cameras now, and what it does and what it is. It's been referred to as the GoPro nose plug. Uh, I personally call it that, or the vibration reducer, or I, there's lots of different things people call it. But what does it do, and uh, why should we use it? We're going to find out right now. The the nose plug or the vibration reducer, what it does is it, it fits in behind the mount in here just like this and it stops the vibration of the mount moving back and forth. What it's doing is it actually pushes out the sides of the mount and it creates more pressure into the mount and so it holds the camera in. It does not allow it to come out ever so you have to take it out before you remove it from the mount but it also because it creates more pressure it makes the mount tighter and does not allow the camera to move at all when it's mounted in the in the camera. So what I'll do here, we'll just we'll put it in. So we'll mount our camera just normally like this, and then we'll slide it. I, this is a base plate off of the uh, the packaging. Very useful, guys. Uh, make sure you keep it. You use it for so many other things. Uh, we'll just slide the camera on, and now I don't know if you can see that, but there is. See this movement? The camera moves back and forth, up and down a little bit. Like, I, I'm not sure, but it, it is moving, and I can hear a rattling noise here too. So now we're going to take it apart. We'll put the we'll put the the vibration reducer or the nose plug in, and you can see the difference. So quite a cool little thing, and because it's so small, there's an ingenious way to stop from losing it, and that is you this little uh, white uh, ring here goes through the through the, the screw or the, the nut or the bolt here. So it sits on this and then when we mount it, again, we'll screw it back in, you can see that the, the mount is still mounted and this is still attached to the, to the mount. So once we have it tightened down to the, where we want it, we just simply slide the, the nose plug or the vibration reducer into the back, make sure it's down all the way. See it just kind of tucks in the back there and now you can see that there's a lot less side-to-side -side movement. It's also, it's still there, but it is a lot quieter as well. So if you're noticing in your videos you're getting like a rattling noise, that's coming from the, the mount actually rattling against the, the, the buckle clip. So if you can put one of these in, it's really helpful. Really, really helpful, guys. I don't regularly think you should ever go anywhere without putting one of these in if you can. Uh, leave it on your, on, your, on your bolt and then just put, pop it in every time you use a buckle mount. Does not work with the J hooks. I've talked about that earlier. Um, so that's a reason not to use a J hook versus using one of these. But if you can put it in, use it, it will stop a lot of your vibration problems or your noise problems. Thank you all for watching. That was another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It uh, really helps me to know that you're out there enjoying the videos and it'll help me continue to create the content. So thank you all for watching. As I said, subscribe. Uh, like the video and if you got any comments on it or if you haven't had luck with these uh, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching